Welcome back guys, another test drive up here. Got a 1970 Ford Mustang Fastback. 351 Cleveland under the hood. Looks like we got power brakes all chromed out in the back there. Lots of extra chrome under the hood. You also got a C, we'll be trying it out. We've got power steering. We got aluminum radiator, a good fan shroud. Everything's in here nice and tight. Aftermarket set of wheels. Awesome paint job. I love the paint scheme on this car. The interior, everything is super nice, but we're going to be finding flaws I do in every single video. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping, maplemotors.com. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Hopping on in here. First things first, place those beds. Do you think the horn works? Coming across the dash, looks pretty good. Interior is not too bad. Hey, come on in here. Found a pretty little lady on the parking lot. She said she wants to go for a ride. <laughs> That's my wife, guys. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to start her up. And take off down the road, showing 23,000 miles on the dash. Wipers work. Ooh, cut off. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did I do that? Are they just gonna stay up there? What's the, what? What? We're gonna push them down. I guess they got them on. I don't know. That's not quite right, is it? Let's look around some more. Missing the radio. I want that AC to work. AC compressor's hooked up. It's coming out of the dash. It's not really in the right place there. Let's go ahead and put it on. At least try floor not coming out the right vents and it's not super cold and the AC is not kicking on or off there we go it's off I think somewhat no clock's not working turn signals left side I don't see her blinking anywhere should be right there nothing that's not a switch from this side it's not Lincoln on that side either. We'll check the lights themselves. As for the horn, nope, horn's not hooked up either. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. There we go, I got y'all on my window here and we're gonna take off down the road. This is the first time that I've driven this. Uh, basically with the wipers, I messed with the switch a few times. I'm not sure why they're stopping up, but I got it on a halfway point. So when it went down, I clicked it halfway and it shut off. And that's where we're gonna leave it. Um, we'll test it and see, you know, if running down the road hitting a bump or something messes it up, I will let you know. All right. Now we just wait on traffic. Here we go, guys. Good shift there. Speedometer is definitely way fast. We're not going 50 at all right now. When I let go of the steering wheel, we got a hard right pull. So you're drifting to the right there. When I get into the throttle, she's got plenty of power, but the kick down is not hooking up on this one. Brakes feel okay. A little stiff on the pedal there. carburetor open up she's pulling good we're gonna stop and get a little bit of fuel back in our brakes it is a stiff pedal so on this one you do got to apply a fair amount of pressure it's like disc brakes but a stiff pedal so it's almost like manual disc brakes but it's not What we're going to do is head up here to the gas station, put about $20 at the premium fuel. Right now we are on E, which is empty obviously. We're not completely out. Just enough to make it to the gas station. With the speedometer also being fast, we don't stand behind mileage because it's going to obviously climb mileage twice as fast as it normally would at the current speed it is reading. 
All right, let's pull into the gas station here, get some fuel, and I'll be back. Okay, $20 worth of premium fuel in this one. Goes right here behind this beautiful cap. I do like the cap that installed. We'll see if the gauge works now. Okay, you ready to roll? I know you're getting hungry. <laughs> Tell you what, gas gauge is not hooked up right because it's not moving. Let's go. getting ready to head out here and I noticed one thing it does have power steering on it but man it is not working so that's gonna need to be checked first in drive wow open road must be you <laughs> yeah sure are Definitely still got a right pull on the front end. Is he dragging? He's exhaust? Look like it. Not too bad going down the road. Seems like it's pretty smooth on shifting and the throttle is very responsive on this one. Nice little bump in the road up here. Yeah, this thing really does feel like manual brakes. It's not though. Nice little bump in the road right here. It was very smooth. I've had some stuff that'll send me up into the ceiling. This one was smooth going down that. Was that a Harley Davidson edition Ford? You know, I had somebody rear end me I had one of those back in the day and they rear-ended me on the interstate at a hundred mile an hour I was doing 70 they hit me at a hundred and I the whole back tire folded up underneath 
and I just went into spins. I was like, I can't get control of this truck. I couldn't figure it out. I got out my wheels flat under the truck. It's funny though, Harley Davidson truck hauling a Suzuki. <laughs> I expected a Harley. It'd be all right. Guys, picking out the flaws is coming up next, so stick around for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're gonna walk around this ride, see what we can find. Let's get started. Looking at the front end on this one. Chrome looks pretty good. We do need an overflow jug, as in, there's a little puddle down here. The antifreeze dripping and it doesn't have anywhere to go. So once it gets hot, little chips there. It expands out and just goes all over the ground. And of course, when we get the cars in, we top off all the fluids. Little spots there. As you can see, it's just right there coming out the hose. Needs an overflow bucket right there in the corner. Would be nice. We probably have some. Maybe I can get somebody to put one on. Oversized battery. Let's go down the side of the car here. Rock guard at the bottom. Door's hanging a little bit. You do gotta slam these doors. Hinges are off. Hinges need to be tightened. I mean, replaced. Not tightened. Can't tighten a hinge. Unless it's on a house. <laughs> Paint job is in pretty good shape. I don't really see a whole ton of flaws. spot there in your pillar right there as well little cracks up top by your drip rail backwood has got a lot of little scratches roof looks good Gonna get the keys to the trunk here in just a second and open her up. Little cracks right there. More light scratches on your back window. And down this side. Little spots there on the side of the car. See the door is hanging. Do got to slam these doors to get them to shut. Because hinges are just sagging a bit. Spot there in the paint. spot there front windshield looks decent trim looks good well upset for up here it needs to be cleaned up a little bit better Go ahead and check out the trunk. Beautiful, nice seal, edges look clean.
Looks awesome possum up in here. But down with the truck lid. Door panel on this one's in good shape. Top part's got a couple little scratches. Checking out our interior. Headliner's got some spots that are sagging. Seat in this one. Does not look bad. far as our gauges go our old pressure gauge is not hooked up gas gauge is not working temperature gauge never moved uh speedo did work but it's fast and that's the mileage is showing okay Also, powered steering was not working correctly. These are just dummy locks. I guess you could set them up to be real. They're not doing anything today. locked already across the hood little spot in the hood there spot right there over here on the luber as well it's got some imperfections guys detail pictures finance and shipping maplemotors.com I do this every day. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. I'll see you in the next one. Later.